Hi guys, we are back with the uh, Gondok puppy training. This is week three. Let's have a little recap what we've done in the past uh, couple of weeks. We've done the retrieve, that was the very first exercise. And after the first week we had some problems, but then we improved. We learned to uh, and practice the recall, and then the sit and the stay as well, only for just one step away from the dog. And obviously later on you can uh, raise the distance. And the last exercise, the dawn, what we've done. This week we're going to introduce new exercises as well. This is the retrieve, uh, which I'm throwing the ball uh, in a, to a further distance now. I am very confident she is coming back to me, so we don't need to use the lead anymore. The presentation is quite good. Obviously not perfect yet, but in this age you don't need to worry about this at all. She's doing really great. Play with the article, whatever you use. Unfortunately I used the wrong uh, arm move here, so she lost sight of the ball. Shouldn't really uh, throw the ball like this. Uh, just uh, play with the article, whatever, we, whatever you use and make sure the dog doesn't uh, lose sight of it when you throw it. And then she can just run for it and come back to you very quickly. I'm using the hand signals as well, which uh, indicate to her I expect her to come back to me. She is doing really well. I was very pleased with this exercise. Throw the ball again. You can see that's a much further distance than we ever done before. This is going to be this week. Uh, practice every day. You practice with the dog for like 5-10 minutes every day and you will see the dog going to improve very nicely. Uh, we introduced again a new exercise, that's the marked retrieve. Then you need to use uh, a partner as well who help you to throw or just drop the ball very close to it. need to make some noise to bring the dog attention. And the dog obviously is supposed to bring the ball back to you, so retrieve the uh, article back to you. Mark throw the ball again. She run for it very nicely, very quickly, and then bring it, retrieve it back to me. Don't need to keep much control of the dog. Don't worry about if she doesn't run back to you straight away. She was goofing around around me a little bit, but that's absolutely fine. You just want to make sure she will go for the article in the quickest speed as you can achieve, as uh, she can achieve, sorry, and obviously uh, try to bring it back to you. This is the uh, painter roll, a little bit uh, more difficult for her to grab hold of it, but she is doing really, really well. Again, one more time with the ball. You don't need to repeat it more than four or five times. If you practice every day, then keep it very interesting for her and she will love the every exercise. Every day when I come home, uh, every afternoon she is actually asking for the practice. She loves it so much. And one more time with the painter roll. Just drop it, make some noise to bring the dog attention. She run for it very quickly, grab hold of it. We're fighting with it a little bit, it's <laughs> quite big for her, but she is doing really great and bring it back to me. Well, after a little while. I don't need to worry, I know she will bring it back to me. She went a little extra circle, but she is coming back to me and present the article. I was very pleased with this exercise. She was doing really, really well. The next new exercise is the walking to heel. So now we're introducing this exercise as well. Uh, we are back with the hot dog sausage. Uh, she is following my hand and we are using the lead as well for this exercise just uh, for the dog to feel a little control under control the, but you don't need to be very firm with the lead just be very soft uh, a little recall here as well to position her to the right position and then we are back to the heel she is following my hand following my move sit we have the sit and the down and the recall, so all these exercises coming into this walking into heel. 
and shows the control over the dog. She's doing really nice. She's following me wherever I go. Well, that little jump, don't worry about this in this stage. She's only 13 weeks old. That's fine. Wherever you turn, try to sit her down and then position and go to here. She's doing beautifully. I'm very pleased. When she doesn't really do, she lost sight of the uh, food, obviously she is very food orientated. Then don't treat the dog when she doesn't do what you uh, expect from her to do. Do, do not use the treat, you see she doesn't want to sit down, so no treat. Only treat her, it's very crucial, the good timing in the treat, when she look up to you, uh, actually you are treating here the attention what she is giving to you and the control. It's a beautiful exercise, I was very pleased with that. Uh, that's all for this week guys, thank you for watching. Um, obviously you can try it at home as well, please practice with us. Uh, please uh, like and subscribe and then you won't lose the next part.